the subject of touching my hair. I want to address this today. Um, <laughs> I feel like this is, oh, by the way, vlogging every day in June, day 13. Let's go. Let's do this. Yes, I'm back. I've, I've cheated a couple of days. I actually took a lot of footage over the past weekend and uh, couldn't get it up. So I kind of cheated and put some of those videos up uh, for a couple of days. So I hope you'll for forgive me, but it's something that I wanted to share with you. Anyway, back to the subject matter at hand. Talking about touching my hair. Well, at first, I... Um, I did not like people touching my hair. I felt like, you know, um, it was, you know, ignorant. I thought it was disrespectful. I thought it was rude um, to just come up to somebody and touch their hair. And, you know, you don't know where their hands been, um, you know, things like that. And so as I've matured, um, in, in myself, in my in my growth, in my spiritual growth, in my you know health growth, in my mental growth, and all those growths, um, I have come to the conclusion that somebody reaching out to touch my hair is not that big of a freaking deal. Okay, <laughs> um, there are so much more things in this world to be concerned about than somebody touching your hair. Um, in my experience, um, I'll tell you two stories. So one time I was sitting with a friend and his friend and we were, you know, conversating and having, you know, a uh, chit chat and everything like that. And his friend, this was the first time I ever met this guy. Um, and he was like, can I touch your hair? And just reached out and touched it. Didn't even wait for an answer. <laughs> he just reached out and touched it. And, you know, I'm so at peace with myself and, you know, in tune with myself and in love with myself that I didn't mind you know I just laughed it off and then like not too long ago maybe like a month ago one of my co-workers I was lazy and I had my hair out all big and stuff like that at work and um, it was still semi-professional but <laughs> you know it was it was kind of it was kind of big so one of my co-workers was like Oh, wow, your hair is so cool, white lady. Your hair is so cool. Is it natural? And she was about to, and I was just laughing the whole time, and I was saying thank you and everything like that. And she was going to, you know, I could see that in her eyes and, like, her hand was about to reach out to touch, and then she realized where she was, and she, you know, she uh, stopped herself. And, um... You know, I just laughed. I just kept smiling and laughing. And when I think about that situation, I should have asked her, you know, did she want to touch my hair? You know, remember back in the day, like, you would have that that girl or, you know, that white girl that was kind of cool with the black girls or whatever. And we would, you know, we would play in her hair without permission or that girl with the good hair. We would play in her hair. So... You know, just think about it. The roles have been reversed. We got the good hair now, and everybody wants to play in it. And, you know, a lot of women have said that, you know, they, they find that black people want to touch their hair more often than, you know, white people or people of other races. I find, you know, it's a mixture. Um, I also find, and a lot of people say, like, more black men like to touch, you know, our hair and everything like that. And... I think that's great. <laughs> I think that is awesome. I would let, you know, not any. But <laughs> if a fine black man wants to touch my quaff, go right on ahead, okay? <laughs> um, I have no issue with the matter. So, you know, somebody wanting to touch my hair, they're just curious. They want to, you know what I'm saying? Anything that you're curious about, you don't know anything about, You'll ask questions, you'll want to touch, you'll want to feel. And that our hair is so fascinating that people will ignore all sense of rules and, you know, um, being respectful to touch it. That's, isn't that great? Like, you're, you're that fascinating that people would, are willing to invade your personal space, to go up in your quaff and see what's up in there. <laughs> I don't know what they're looking for. Maybe they're looking for, a, you know, a track, 
um, you know, some erasers. Maybe I keep erasers up there. I don't really know um, why people um, reach out and touch my hair. But I'm, I, you know, I it took me about four or five years to get my hair to the length that it is and to the fullness that it is. And, you know, for people to be fascinated and wanting to touch it, that to me is that, you know, I've accomplished something. I like it. So, I'm, you know, I'm not going to go around saying, hey, touch my hair. But if somebody wants to do it, it's not that serious. It really isn't. I used to be really militant in the beginning. But now, it ain't that serious. There's way more crucial things in the world than somebody wanting to put they possibly gross fingers up in my hair. <laughs> so that's my that's how my little two cents on the matter. And um, yeah, let somebody touch your hair. Okay. Bye.